Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, today's a bit of a different one. I've got a jewellery making tutorial for you. Easy peasy, anyone can do this. Sea glass jewellery, no silversmithing, no drilling, no needing to worry about anything like that. So it's so simple, you can do it at home and you can make beautiful pieces like this. And I'm gonna show you how, so stay tuned. Okay, so first thing you need is some epoxy glue. And this is a two part epoxy that you mix. You can use E6000 glue, I've used it before, but this is much stronger and I want it to be for giving it as a gift. So uh, we've also got these pliers, which are really, really useful in any kind of jewelry making. And you can pick them up really cheaply from Amazon or anywhere like that. So if you've got those things, you're good to go. Next, I've got my pieces of sea glass that I'm going to use and turn into jewellery. So I've got two larger pieces there that I'm going to use for pendants. And the smaller piece, which is a multi from Siam, which I'm going to use for a ring. So I've got those, they're all cleaned, they're all polished. And I'll do a tutorial video on how to do that soon. Um, and they're ready to be made into lovely jewellery pieces. So next we've got the glue on bales for the pendants. So these are shiny on one side and dimpled on the other, which is the side that has the uh, adhesive on it and it gives it something to cling to. And um, you can pick these up from eBay or Amazon or anywhere like that quite cheaply. And this is what they look like up close. Um, and I also have a ring blank, which has little claws on it as well as a little recess for the gem to go into. Um, and I also picked this up from eBay really, really inexpensively. Um, it's adjustable too, which is great because you don't have to know the person's ring size then if you're giving it as a gift. Um, and it's great that, you know, anybody with any ring size can buy that then really. Um, and this is what it looks like up close. So you can see it's got a little recess there where we can put the adhesive in and extra claws to hold the gem in place. So here we go. Let's get started. We've got our epoxy. We need a little plastic lid or something disposable that you don't mind ruining to mix it on because once that goes off, you know, there's no scraping it off or cleaning it or anything. So don't use a dish that you really like. <laughs> and then we have a little toothpick then to mix it with, but you can use anything really that you don't mind chucking away. A obligatory bare hair there. Okay, so we squeeze out the epoxy. That's a two part. It is a bit tricky. You need a bit of a uh, bit of strength. There we go. Out it comes. You make sure you've got enough. Um, but bear in mind, it does go off really quickly, so you do have to use it fairly quickly as well. So just mix it up really, really well. And as you do that, it should turn more clear, really. You shouldn't see much of that yellow side. Give it a really good mix. Okay. Now we're ready to glue the pendants, the sea glass pieces, onto the bales. So the first thing I do is I get a little bit on the toothpick or whatever you use to mix it and I spread it on the dimpled side and that side you know has these little ridges which will help the uh, pendant and the glue cling on to it really it's not a fully smooth surface so I really make sure that I move it around on the bale and get it in all those little dimples then I get my sea glass piece and just press it on now, it's not a grab adhesive, it goes off within like five minutes, but it doesn't grab straight away. So you've got to make sure that it, you put it in the right place that you want it and that it doesn't slide around. So there's the first one done. And now we're going to do the second one. And I love this little piece, it looks like a, a pink heart. And that one's also from Siam. So I'm doing the same again, just spread it on, get it in all the little grooves on the bale and then you kind of scrape the excess off as well because what you don't want is it all sort of squishing out of the sides and you end up with 
glue all over the bale at the back of your necklace. So same thing again, just press it on, lovely. So with this one, it was a bit chunky and, you know, kept sort of moving off the bale of where I wanted it really. So one thing that you can do to help with this is get a bit of blue tack or white tack or sticky tack, whatever you want to call it. And you can use that to sort of prop up your pendants and keep them in place while they set, which as I said, is only five minutes. So you've got to work quite quickly. Um, and with this one, I probably should have set this up ahead of time. But you know, you live and you learn, it's DIY at the end of the day. So here I am making a little, little bed for it to lie on so that it stays in place while it sets. There we go. And I've done the same for the other pendant, as you can see, and now it's time to put the sea glass ring together. So I'm still using that epoxy, and I'm doing it quite quickly, because as I said, it goes off. I'm doing a quick dry run of the gem to make sure that the piece of glass actually fits in there, and it's a perfect fit. It's lovely to be able to do something with these teeny tiny melties, something really special. So here I am. So first thing we're gonna do is fill up that recess with epoxy. Make sure that there are no air bubbles, no air gaps in there. We wanna make sure it's fully covered. And you see you're just blobbing it in there and swirl it about a bit so that we don't get any air gaps. There we go. Okay, and now we're gonna the piece of sea glass in. There we go. Nice fit. We're happy with it. Yep. And then we're also gonna um, pop this onto a piece of blue tack as well so that it stays upright while it dries because I don't want it sliding around or anything like that. But that's as easy as it is. We're gonna leave the claws up for now until it's fully dried. Um, and then I'll show you how I close those up later. But there we go, just set it in some blue tack so it dries and give it five to ten minutes. It says on the epoxy that it takes to set, but I like to give it about half an hour. And you can always tell because when you come back, the epoxy that you had on the mixing tray will be dry and will be set. So you know your pieces are as well and it's safe to work on them a bit more. So here I am taking them off the blue tack, the white tack. Oh, it looks so pretty, see? Lovely little pendant ready made and all we did was, was glue it together. And that heart one is really cute. There we are. Oh, it's lovely. A really special looking piece that is. Okay. So next up, we've got to close the claws on the sea glass ring, which will ju just give that piece of sea glass a bit more stability and keep it in there. So you can see them, the four pieces sticking up here, around the corners. Yep, we've got to just press those down now and make sure that they're holding the glass in place. So what I do with this is Get a piece, a pair of pliers, those pliers that I showed you earlier. Yeah, and just gently press the claws in, and it's that easy. You could probably do this, you know, with your finger if you wanted to. If you had a bit of strength in your hands. <laughs> but there you go, just make sure it's all laid down secure. And there we are, we're done. And the sea glass ring is finished. Isn't it lovely? So gorgeous. That'll be a lovely piece and a lovely gift for anyone. And as I said, it's adjustable, so there's me just making it a little bit bigger to fit on my finger. Really lovely piece. And as easy as that, guys. I told you it was quick and I told you it was easy. There you go. So now we need to attach some chains to the pendants. 
Now you can buy uh, lengths of chain from any craft stores or eBay, but I pick up these sort of cheap uh, layered necklaces uh, off eBay and different sort of cheap jewelry shops and use the chains from those. So for these two necklaces, I'm going to be using the top chain and the bottom chain, and I'm gonna be saving the middle chain for another project and I'll be saving that wave pendant as well. So this is what they look like when you look for them on eBay, they're just under layered necklaces. So here's the first one. I've taken them apart using my pliers and here's the second chain, all ready to go. Now, obviously they only came with one uh, hook and eye, so I've, I've added another, which you can pick these up really cheaply as well. Uh, great for any jewelry making kit really. I've just added those to the ends of the other chain. Okay, first one. We're gonna put the pink heart on the longer chain. I think that's a, a lovely piece of sea glass and it could do with a really simple chain to show it off. I just thread it on and do it up. There you go. And that's the necklace. <laughs> and the next one is more of a choker style with the other pendant that we made, the more gray piece. So I went to thread it on and then realized that it wouldn't get past, the bale wouldn't get past those little baubles, but that's okay. So it's an easy fix. All we need to do is find the center of the chain by folding it in half, which is this little bead there. And I'm just going to snip that with my pliers and then pop the pendant on with a with a simple jump ring and reattach and it's that easy it's a bit fiddly because obviously it's quite small but it's very relaxing to do and there you go just giving it quick tighten to make sure the jump ring is closed properly and then we have another finished necklace. That easy. And such a stunning piece as well. There we go, we've got our two finished necklaces. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to make some packaging now. Um, all you need is a piece of card. I've opted for some brown and I've cut it into a rectangle, well, two rectangles, one for each pendant, which I have then also folded in half. There we go. And the next thing we're gonna do is make some holes. Now you can do this with a hole punch, but I couldn't find mine. So I had to use this, uh, this hole punch contraption, which I think is for textiles and leather and things, but we're gonna give it a go on the paper. Um, and just make two holes for the chain to go through. And uh, if I'm not explaining that too well, everything will become apparent in a minute. So we've made the holes. So much, would be so much easier with a hole punch. And what we're gonna do now is feed the chains of the pendants through those holes just like this, and then close up the pendants behind the piece of card. So you're gonna pull it until it's displayed how you want it. So I think I want mine just about there. Yeah, I think that's about right. And then we've got it sitting exactly how we want it to. So I've done the second one and now I've got my salad tape and I'm just gonna secure those in place by opening up the piece of card and then tacking down the chain behind just as you would with see with any piece of jewelry that you bought in a shop. They're usually displayed like this. They're just a little piece of tape holding them securely behind. And the same with the other. 
Again, a bit more tricky because of those uh, silver beads on the chain. There we go. And then you close the map. And turn them over and there you go. So now it's time to close these up. So we're going to glue along these edges just with a normal uh, craft glue stick, prit stick, whatever you've got really. I'm going to use this one. So you just glue along, being careful not to get it on your necklace. And then close up the cardstock and press it down. There we go. Lovely. Now we've got to do the same for the other pendant. Probably could have glued the other side just as easily, more easily. And we close it up and there we go all pressed down and just make sure that you um, check all the edges are lined up so it looks nice and professional I felt like that side needed a bit of a trim so you just grab your scissors and give it a bit of a trim There we go and we've got our two packaged up necklaces so now it's time to add some personalized touches so I wrote this poem about sea glass and friendship and these two pendants are for two new friends that I've made so I'm adding this poem to the back with some space at the bottom so I can sign a personalized message so you've just got to do the same thing again with your craft glue stick and just glue them on But of course you could skip this step and just write something on the back or not at all if you're selling them. I just sign my name there on my personalized note so I also picked up this uh, stamp from eBay because I plan to make uh, quite a few more of these and it says handmade by Welsh and Wellies so I'm just giving it a good soak on the ink pad and I'm gonna stamp the fronts of my packaging just to give it that personalized touch enjoyed that tutorial on how to uh, make these pieces and package up your sea glass as well as a little bonus 
um, if you were thinking of selling them or gifting them to other people. So the rain's just starting to come down on the beach now and I've modelled the pieces for you. So I'm going to call it a day but please subscribe if you're not already because I've got more jewellery making uh, videos on the way and hopefully we'll have lots of creative fun with our sea glass pieces as well and I've got more sea glass hunts on the way for you as well. So from me and Bear, <laughs> see you soon, bye!